Hey Dressers! Welcome back to Major Channel. So today I'm going to be doing a simple pink eyeliner makeup look. So let's get started! Hey guys, so before I get started with this, I just want to say, I'm going to give you guys a little update on um, something that I told you guys about um, on Wednesday, I think it was. The first day I came back. Um, from my Mexico trip, I updated you guys and told you guys about those sandals that I was having an issue with that I ordered. Um, and that was supposed to be for my birthday that my parents got me. But so I got some good news about those sandals. So they did reach out to me, they got back to me. Um, I think it was last Friday. So the fr Friday when you can see this, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of confusing because this video is gonna come out a lot later that I'm explaining this. But anyway, I got an email back and they said, what's the name under? Like the order name, like the person you ordered name under. And I said, Danielle. So I sent them that. I didn't get anything back, but I remembered. Oh yeah, it was a weekend, so I probably won't get anything back. And then today I got something back and they said, oh, this is the tracking number. So I was like, okay, and you can track it under UPS. So I went on to UPS and I tracked it and it said it was here. Well, it wasn't here, but it was like somewhere really close. I'm not gonna say exactly, but it's somewhere in my province. Let's just say that. So I'm pretty sure I'm either gonna get it like later today, probably not later today though, probably tomorrow I'll probably get it. So by the time you can see this video, I'll probably already have my sandals, which will be good. So let's just hope and pray that I actually get them because I did get the track now and it says they're coming. So I should get them, so. I will get back to you guys on my next video if I got them, if I remember to tell you guys. But yeah, okay, let's get into so the video. Let me get started. I'm using my mirror, so you guys see that in the frame. Don't mind that right here. Um, but I'm starting off with this. It's my Morphe 2 Skin Tint. It's in the shade Hint of Beige. I'm going to put my hair behind me. Um, also, I just want to say I need more of this. I should buy more because I'm kind of running out. But I'm going to use what I have because this is all I have. I kind of want to try a new um, foundation. Um, I do want to keep getting this one too, just in case I don't like the other one. But the other one is a lot of money. I think it's like $60. And I don't like to pay more than like $50 for like an item at Sephora. Which I know a lot of things at Sephora are expensive. But like I usually don't spend more than $50 on one item. Um, but anyway, I also like to put it on my neck. I used to not do this very often, but now I do it because I can really see a difference. If I put it on my neck, just so there's no like random like lines. Um, so yeah. But the one I want to try, guys, is um, Char Charles Tilbury, I think it's called Charles Tilbury, or Charlotte Tilbury, something like that. I think it's Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I've heard of that brand a lot, it's a very good brand, um, but yeah. So comment below if you guys have ever tried that brand and that foundation, like one of their foundations. I know they have a few different ones, but like the Fallish Finish one, I think it's called. Um, and if you guys have, comment down below if it's actually a good one or not, because I'm going to be going soon. Actually, when this video comes out, I think it will be after. No, it won't be. It won't be. No, maybe it will be, actually. Because this will be posted next week, not this coming week that I'm filming this. So I'm filming this on the 11th. Yeah, today's the 11th of um, April. And this will come out on Wednesday whatever not this coming wednesday of the week that i'm filming this but the wednesday after i think so i'll be already i've went to sephora so you guys can't really comment because if i do go i'm gonna buy it i probably will buy it this time though actually though so you guys can still comment because i'm gonna buy other stuff and i don't want to spend so much money in one time so i'm gonna go one time when i don't need a lot of stuff or i'm not buying a lot of stuff because then at least it will only be like 60 and that's like okay for me to spend if i'm like i'm only buying that maybe one other item um, at one time at Sephora, but not all um, when I'm spending like so much other money. So I'm you guys until comment down below. Unless I don't find any of the other products I want, then I might buy that one. But actually, guys, I just want to say this section might be posted Friday instead of Wednesday that week because I might want to post the other video that I'm filming on Tuesday when I get back from going shopping. I might want to film the haul first just because I think you guys would be more excited to watch that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just wanting to let you guys know in case you guys are all confused why, oh, this is posted on Friday, you said Wednesday. It will be either posted Wednesday or Friday of that month, the week coming up. It's the other week. Kind of confusing. But next product is the Tarte Shape Tape um, Concealer. It's in the shade 16N Fair Light. I love this one. I'm running out of this one too, but I did buy another one that I have. Um, but I just, I'm trying to use this one all up first before I use the other one, even though this one, there's barely anything left. 
but like I said, I'm trying to use it all up. So I'm just putting it on my blemishes or my acne, whatever you want to call it. And so guys, sorry that I talk a lot. I just kind of want to also chat while I do this. Okay, so next thing I'm going in with my Too Faced um, bronzer or contour, whatever. I don't know what one it is. I say this in all my videos and I should know the difference because if I want to become a makeup artist, I really should learn these terms and things of makeup. But um, I don't know the difference between contour and bronzer. I think contour is like doing what I'm doing now. And I think bronzer is just to put over top of your contour to just kind of define it a little bit more. I don't know. But anyway, also another thing I just want to say before I get into the next product is I'm going to be going on April 23rd. So the weekend of when this video is posted, um, I'm going to be going to, so either tomorrow or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days. So either tomorrow or three days from now, um, I'm going to be going to get my hair re-dyed again, like touching up the tops to get the roots a little darker. So yeah, and I'm going to be taking these out the day before and I will film a YouTube video for that as well. But that will come out the week after. So after I get my hair already re-dyed. So yeah. Okay guys, just because I want to and it's just because it's easy, I do this for her out of order. It's the Navina Strawberry Shine um, Chapstick. So I'm just doing it. And then, I'm going to go in with my Juner, I think it's called. I don't know how to say that brand. But Juner or something. And I'm just going to take it and I'm putting on my blush. Okay. I go on my bridge of my nose and then I drag it down on the side of my cheek. And I kind of like put it like right above where my contour is. And I'm just going with it. And I know it looks kind of crazy. And like there's a lot on. Like I'm like super burnt or super like blushing. But then I just take my um, beauty blender. I know it's dirty. Don't mind that. And my hands are dirty too. So don't mind that as well. But I just take it and I just dab my um, blush to kind of blend it in and make it not as dark. Because it kind of like. I don't know, blends it in so it's not as dark and it also kind of just picks up some of the product onto my beauty blender and so it kind of like takes off some of it so that it's not as dark. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to go in with this, my Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm taking my fame brush. I've said this in a bunch of videos but I'm saying it again. I repeat myself a lot but I do that because in case people don't watch my videos or just in case you guys forget. But basically, I like to use fan brushes. I know a lot of people don't like to use fan brushes because, I don't know, just some people don't like them. But I love them. I think they're very good. Okay. So like that. And I like to put a lot on my nose. And I know sometimes people are like, oh my god, you have, you have like a white nose or what's on your nose. But I just like to put a lot on. I don't care if people want to judge or say something. So far. Then, I go in with this, which is my... Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. And I just take that and put it on my eyebrows. Also, if you guys can see up here, I have like a little like um, pimple that's kind of, I don't know, turning into a scab kind of. Um, and it kind of hurts, especially when I put like my, when I touch it or something, when I do this. So I try to not like, I try to go around it. You guys can really see that. It's like really defined on the camera but don't mind that guys we all get acne in random places and that's one of the random places that's one of the more i guess you can say uncommon places that people get acne okay guys so now i'm going to take the maddie ziggler imagination palette i love this palette it's one of my favorites that i own i've had it for a long time so it's very messy and dirty but don't mind that but i take this shade right here the shade which is called angel I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to put that all over my lid because this is a very basic makeup look today. So it's very simple and basic so it's not much to me. So I'm just putting that on my lid to just give myself some color and some shimmer because this is the only shimmer I'm going to give myself today. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be taking my Violet Voss Care Bear Palette. I also love this one a lot. And I'm taking this color right up here. This bright pink and I'm going to use that as the eyeliner. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing better. Mm -hmm. I'm very bad. Also, I do this a lot. Just I just want to clarify in case you guys don't know why I do this. But I do this to keep my hands steady because I'm 
very shaky. I don't know why I am, but I am. Okay, here we go. And I wanted to do this color, guys, because it's very bright, and I love it. Also, I don't dip my brush in any water or anything before I dip it in the eyeshadow. Choose it as eyeliner, which I should, because I know it makes it more creamy and easier to use as eyeshadow. I mean, as eyeliner, but I just use it as... Okay, so then I go like that, guys, and you guys can see it like branches out. But now I'm gonna take it underneath my eye as well. Like that. And I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit on here. And there we have it. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other eye. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of it. I don't need to show you guys the whole thing because you guys saw my other one. But I'll show you guys the top part and then I'll end it and do the one part. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like my eyeliner too thick. But I also don't like it super thin. I just like it kind of in the middle. Um, oh my god, it's very blurry. And you're going to focus back out. There we go. Okay. We are better now. Sorry guys about that blur. Um, I'm just gonna go oh, that way. See what? See what I'm doing better? Okay. And now I'm just gonna branch it out on the side like that. Okay guys, so there it's finished. It's kind of a little crazy on all over the place because my eyes are very small too, so it looks even more crazy. I did wing it out and wing it out on this side. Um. Anyway, now the last and final step for my makeup look is this. My Sky High Lash Sensational Maybelline New York Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just going to take it and apply it. Also, I just want to say, a lot of people do... I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see my whole face. But a lot of people... I'm going to move that right now while I'm talking. A lot of people do use setting spray um, just to keep their makeup in place and, and not, you know, tear, blah, rub off or come off during the day but I don't do that I've never done that I've tried that one time but one time when I did try it it smudged my makeup and I don't know if that's because I did it too close to my face probably it was but um ever since then I just never did it again so and I don't ever do it and my makeup does stay on pretty well during the day I will say it does get a little bit more unpigmented I guess you can kind of say but other than that I feel like it stays on okay now we're gonna get into my mascara I'm just gonna quickly show you guys a little bit of my my mascara, not much. Am I gonna flurry again? There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, I finished my makeup. Well, actually, I'm just gonna touch up my lips quick. Touch up my lips. Because I feel like since I did them so early on in my makeup look, they get like dry. Cause it dry out. Anyway, here it is. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed the video, give this thumbs up. Comment down below. Mm, I said this in my last video, but I'm gonna say it again. Comment down below some more video ideas. I really need some, so really comment some. And if you guys want any videos like interactive videos like Q&As or uh, no, just anything else I need help with videos, please comment questions or comment things for me to able to do those type of videos. So yeah, and if you guys want Topic Wednesdays because I haven't done those in a long time, comment down below topics um, because I really need some more topics. You can be able to literally anything. Just, I don't really want to do controversial topics though. So try to make them not controversial because I don't want to really get canceled or anything like that or my opinion. Um, or get hated on or anything like that. Because I don't want to make anybody upset. I don't want to cause drama. I'm not that type of person. I've done that in the past and I'm moving on. I'm learning. So no more controversial. So don't comment controversial things. And if I do, if, if you guys do, it's not like I'm going to hate you guys for commenting it. I just won't do that topic. I'll just not do it. So, yeah, that's that. So, subscribe to come in this week. Bye bye, Jesters.